Let's say you want to find some articles in Achieve 3000 that you're going to use through the year to support your teaching. Just because you don't have the class rostered to you yet doesn't mean you can't look for content. There's a few different ways to look for content. In the top right hand side, there's a search. You can search by keyword. That's useful. Also, on the top right hand side, there's standards. If I click on that and expand it, you can see different subject matters right here. These subject matters also match these subject matter drop downs on the left side right here. So if I click on ELA over here, I can see there's lots of subtopics in ELA. If I click on social studies right here, I can see there's subtopics and subtopics of subtopics in social studies. Over on the right hand side, I also have these lesson details items. So if I specifically want something with an engaging video, I can click on including a video and I can click on a five step lesson that I can go through with my students. If I just want them to have only an article and activity, something they can do on their own, I can click that right there. But let's say five steps so I can search for it. So let me apply this. What's going to happen is it's going to filter all articles that have a video and are five step lessons. So it looks right here, it has filtered it down to 112 different lessons. I can scroll down, I see, oh, okay, here's one about Hamilton. Hamilton has been in the news recently, kids may have seen it on Disney+, Plus. they may enjoy it, so let's see what kind of information I can find. It's a five-step lesson, it's available in English and Spanish, it has a diversity theme. If I click on this Show Details button, it's going to tell me that it is a Lexile a factored uh, assignment. It does reach down to the lowest Lexile range. It has all five steps, has a video, and has Spanish. If I click on CA standards, it's going to open this window here for me, which you can then see will go through all of language and reading, RI, RF, and some writing standards. The reason they can include all of those is because the five-step lesson plan has a discussion portion, a reading and comprehension portion, as well as a writing portion. So I'm going to close this. So I'm coming back to my Hamilton article right here. There's now a little heart to add this to favorites. If I click on this, this article now becomes one of my favorites. You can see I have this article favorited right here already because I had already seen this Lego article and I wanted to save it for later. If I were to, let's say, log out of Achieve 3000, come back later, I can now see that my favorited lesson is right here in my favorites. I just scrolled down a little bit. This is a, a newer feature. So this is a way of saving an article for later if it's one of your favorites. After you're done using it, you can unfavorite it, remove your favorites by clicking on it right there. That's one way of saving the articles. Another way, if I click through this article, I can preview the five steps. I can see the teacher materials over here. I can see the teacher recommendations over here, how to introduce the lesson, all kinds of stuff that I can look through if I'd like to, as well as vocabulary I can pull out to prepare my lesson. Um, but I can also take the URL, which is up here on the top of the page, right here. It's a whole bunch of computer words that are computer characters that link straight to this lesson. If I were to copy this and then go to a document, like maybe, say, my planning document in Google Drive, click on Recent to open my planning document, Here's a planning document. All I have to do is type in Hamilton Achieve 3000 article, push control V to paste, and now I know later I can come back to that link. Even if I'm not logged into uh, Achieve 3000 at the time, all it's gonna do is ask me to log in. I'll just have to go to Clever, log in, and be able to click on that later. Now I have that link in another place um, where I can reference it and link to it. So if I wanted to share that with my students, I could share it the same way with this URL if I wanted to, both in Google Classroom and other ways. That link would take the student to that five-step 
article. Let's jump back to achieve real quick. We're going to go back to the main menu. And just show you these filters right here. So I'm going to look for science. I'm going to look for life science. And I'm going to look for something about plants. So this filter right here has automatically filtered all of my content to give me science, life science, and plants. So all of these articles are tagged with all three of those. So if I wanted to say, oh, okay, I don't only need life science ones, I could delete that filter, but it's going to take me out here. So those filters you can't really change around as you're going, like unlike the filters we did over here. Let's go to life science and plants, and it gives me these lessons. So this helps me find lessons that I want. I can prepare in advance. I have access to um, most of the Achieve 3000 articles now, even though I'm in summer mode and don't have access to assign any. I can save them for later and sort of plan out how I'm going to use them.